Y'all, it's Tay Chief, Bag Vicious CEO. You already know Bag Vicious Entertainment. Started the shit a couple of years ago. Really just entertainment company, really just going with the clothes, music, artists, actors, everything. I got some a lot of shit coming, so y'all might wanna might wanna come fuck with me for real. With Los, I believe like like for real, with Los will grab me and my attention is really like his his voice, his his tone of voice, like I feel like he sound like he don't really be trying to be, but that's that's just how he is. Like he just sound like he just sound real aggressive and raw. Like to me, that's why I really pick. Shit, man. They call me Cat, man. CK Cat, man. I've been rapping for like a good two years on platforms and shit, man. I'm just trying to get the ball rolling. Finally taking this shit serious, you know, and whatnot. Uh, I want to say, I used to just rap with my, like, me and my niggas used to be down in the basement smoking and kicking it where we just rap just for fun type shit. And I had my older cousins and shit. They took rap shit more serious than me, you feel me? Just a role model for me at the time. So, like, I just looked up to bro. She made me want to rap, you feel me? It developed me a little flow. Niggas taught me how to put four bars together and I got straight in that bitch, man. My boy Bag Vicious, Bag Vicious tapped in with me, you feel me? Appreciate it, bro, for that one. Shout out to dude, too, man. He came out the way to hit me up. He said he wanted me to hop on his bitch. And I said, I fit the lineup perfect, man. But for the first part of the shit, I wrote. Because right when he hit me up, I started writing instantly. I was like, feel me? Trying to get a head start, feel me? Got the writing, feel me? I got writer's block for a couple of days. Let that shit sit. Came back to it. Got a little bit more. Then the rest, I just punched in the studio. The process I really do is, you feel me, just... Whatever come off the top of my head, you let the beat talk, and we'll fucking tell you for real. Yeah, I must definitely, I brought the energy that needs to be brought for this shit, man. Y'all niggas stay tuned, y'all gonna hear it. We all put that work in. Uh, from the Cypher? Yep. Shit, let me think, man. Y'all got a favorite lyric, man, favorite lyric. Shit, my favorite lyric is Free Poo, man. That's my boy, man. I love you too, man. You gonna see this bitch, man. I love your boy free until he home. So that's what it's gonna be, on. Regardless, for real, man. For my boy. I think it's. I'm versatile. I feel like I can change my flow up how it needs to be adjusted, feel me? I got my own little unique flow. I, I got a swagger on my shit, for real. I don't really try too hard when I rap. It sound like I'm talking, what most people tell me, feel me? So, like. I just feel like it's second nature type shit. Nigga, I'm on my mama, I'm so, I'm so okay, weird. Okay, so don't be mad as fuck when we tell me three pepperoni pizzas. Can we get a pip, bro? Can we get a, one of them barbecue <laughs> pizzas, bro? Oh, what? I don't know that shit. Pepperoni and bacon and barbecue sauce. No, with pepperoni and bacon and barbecue sauce. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, oh. And onions? Like, no, no, I don't know about the onions, y'all. I ain't I don't like, I don't know about the onions. No, yeah, I ain't. Hey, I don't even know what they talking about. Yeah, I don't know what they talking about. We're my cousins, cool. bro. Just tell them stack on the phone. <laughs> yeah. Big stack on the phone. Take that shot, nigga. Okay, you do got a Pop the little one. Papa John's, Pizza Hut, Marco's. Marco's, I'm gonna tell you that shit. Marco's, 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 I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I'm gonna drink pop. 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 They got tea or something? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Tea in there. I always like with Stack, I've always been. I've been fucking with Stack since. I've been fucking with Stack. I knew since I was a kid. Like, then, and that's my cousin like that. But like, I got, I've been fucking with him. Like I've seen, he been, he had his patch for it. He got, he got better and better since I first knew that he was rapping and shit. Like he just got better and better. Now he really taking this shit serious. Like, especially like with and Stacker, he real versatile. Like he a real versatile type of artist type shit. So like he could do anything, hop on like any beat, he sing, like all that shit. So I feel like that. That's why I really like wanted him on that because it'll bring some vers versatility. And I like how when he rap, you can really just see. You can really just feel his personality in the in the in the music at that. So that's why I really why I picked Stack up. Uh, my name is Stacker Baby. I'm from Akron, Ohio. I've been rapping for like for a minute since I was like 15. I started taking it serious at like 15. With me and my friends. Yeah, we've been rapping for a minute. We're doing good, man. For real. I ain't gonna lie. No, I just used to be around my uncles and shit. They rappers. 
So being around people that I used to rap, I used to have be around a lot of people that rap. So me being young, I used to be freestyling to them and shit when they play beats. So yeah, that really made me want to rap for real for when I got older. But I didn't really take it serious at first. I didn't really even want to be a rapper at first. I don't know what what happened. No, because all of us was on the same thing. All of us wanted to be rappers at the same time. That's what made us all be rappers. Made me want to be a rapper more because everybody around me was on the same page. That's what made me want to be a rapper. And that's inspired me to do more, better. You feel me? Uh, Tay, Tay, that's my cousin. That's my cousin for real, for real. I ain't gonna fake. Tay, Tay, be, Tay done got me in my first shows and everything. So she, he had tapped in with me. Cause at first, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. He wasn't gonna put me on it cause my style, like you feel me? So, but he know I'm versatile for real, for real. So, you know, had to come in there, man, for real. Tear that motherfucker up. For real, for real. Yeah, it just be like, it be clicking in my head. Like, I don't know what it be. Cause when I start rapping, it be off the first line. First line come out good. The rest gonna just flow out. Everything gonna just flow. Everything was coming in my head, clicking like, you feel me? It be cool though, I ain't gonna lie. That shit easy. I ain't gonna fake the music so easy to me now. I ain't gonna lie. But rap, I, don't, I can't even write. I don't got a short attention span. Too much be going on my mind. I got ADHD. Goddamn. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I gave like a cool little, a different flow. Cause how I rap, everybody rap like, everybody everybody rap different. So it's gonna be like different vibes. Like you feel me? And people gonna feel different ways when people hop on it. Like you feel me? When I hop on it, I'm trying to do something. Make people sing my shit, feel my shit. You feel me? Do different shit. So when people gonna hear it, it's gonna stand out. Like you feel me? All freestyle though. Crazy. Yeah. When I was like, I'm trying to run a nigga down to fill him up with hollows. That's my favorite part, right? I feel my cry. I feel like being me. Because I don't be afraid to be myself when I'm in the studio or when I'm rapping. I'm not afraid to talk about shit in my songs. You feel me? And I feel like everything I say be real. Like, I don't be trying to rap about another people's life or that. I don't be trying to do that, you feel me? So I be rapping what I feel like. That's how I freestyle, cause it be in my heart at that moment. I can't even rap at the studio if, I don't, if I'm not in a rapping mood. Like if I ain't got shit going on in my head or I ain't do shit for a minute, I can't, I can't rap. Cause it's not gonna feel real to me. Cause it's not me, you feel me? So that's really what it be. My style come from how my days be, how my feeling, and all that, for real, for real. So, it's just me. People listen to me, it's stack of baby. You feel me? For real, I could be happy, sad, anything. But they're gonna feel it, either way. So to God, make some shit that somebody gonna feel. Only, I need only one person to feel my shit. For real. Yeah, man. Feel like I'm the best. <laughs> For real. All the way in North Carolina, texting me saying, "Why is somebody not on the job?" I said, "I'm gonna get to this." Hey, tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay, so we just getting three larges. Yeah, three larges. Oh, I know. Right. Bro. Pepperoni. Does anyone have any like, again, I'm gonna get special it, right. requests? Are we ordering pizza out this motherfucker? Don't start. Who cares? No, who we gonna eat? Call, see if they deliver first. They do. Oh. How far is that one? Oh, no contact delivery. That don't, that don't mean that. Don't that, that mean that they like sit it down? Yeah, yeah. like, go them pass. I don't talk about. No, we gonna. <laughs> no, we still going out there to call the taxi. Talk to him. Yeah. I still do. You when I say no contact delivery. Oh, bitch, oh you be all, Oh, you, you be the one that way. Oh, okay. 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 Nunu, I just liked her because she got like a, uh, she don't really sound like, she girly girly and part, she really girly girly, but like she don't really sound it like, like she really rap like she hard, like she rap like she rap here, like you, like you from, you could tell she from Akka, like 
because how she got like she talked like an act bitch like so like i really like respect and she really hard as fuck like on her average like she don't sound like you know she don't sound trying to be girly girly like you know sexy type shit she really talking that shit like Um, all right, hi guys. I'm Nunu or New Two Times. Um, I'm from Akron, Ohio, of course. I've been rapping forever, honestly. Like myself, I've been rapping since I was like five, six, but nobody knew about it. But like consistently, like actually dropping or having people know, about two, three years, honestly. Like going to the studio and stuff like that. So around two years, going on three. I grew up around music. My um, dad, he was a rapper. He was a bigger rapper in the city around his time. So I always grew up in the studio. Like every house we lived in had a studio and then like different people would come in. He had me helping him make CDs, shit like that. Um, where I was just in the studio myself, really. So I was just always around music like that. But yeah, uh, my boy Tay. Devontae, you know, bag of bitches, of course. Me and Tay, we know each other for a long time. That's my brother for sure. For sure. So, yeah, he told me about it. He told me he wanted to do it. And I told him, of course, I'll be down, you know. So, we talked about it, got it together, did it. So, it's going to be it's gonna be big for sure. But, like, when I write, I can write <clears throat> and I can freestyle, like, depending on my mood. So, when he told us to start writing, like I did, a, I did another cipher before this. I didn't write it until like the day of or like while I was there. But like when I write, I don't, I can't write a whole song at once. I don't know why my mind works like that. I just can't. So like I write piece by piece sometimes. So when he said start writing, I just start thinking about like stuff I can say something about or what I want to say. Like oh, I got a hard bar. I want to say that type of forget about it but like today what i did was i had a couple of ideas wrote them got in there and then i added on to it like as i was going so some parts i didn't know what i was gonna say but so it's a 50 50 but i rather i would rather write stuff out than freestyle but i can't write a full song at once i don't know why that makes no sense but it does to me the way my brain works <laughs> i don't know so how you um for one i'm the only girl so you know, and that adds to it, that adds, you know, a little pressure just a little bit because, of course, here, when you hear a rap, you're thinking of a boy or a man or whatever. Yeah, not only y'all can rap, it's guess what? I can too. But yeah, that, and not even just that, like, it's, we all different in our ways. Like, we rap different, we got different flows or like different styles. So, I just add my different one today, different one, so you can hear like the different styles to the city and how people rap. So yeah, I add my own touch to it too. But definitely mainly for the ladies though. Shout out to City Girls at 500. Mmm. <laughs> Hold on, you gotta let me think. I don't even remember what I said, honestly, because I just did it right now. Uh, what did I say? Oh, <laughs> my favorite part is when I uh, call all of them out. Saka, CK, Cap, and DTG Topo. But I forgot it was more people, so I didn't put their names in. But if we redo it, I'm gonna say y'all too. Only because they said it was like, you know, uh, competitive, friendly, friendly, competitive, you know. Oh, well, too bad, so sad. Say something back or cry about it. But that'll be all right. They were salty when I said it though. But yeah. <laughs> I feel like. I stick out, like I'm more so confident, like and dominant when I rap. Like you're gonna know, like, yeah, I said this and I'm gonna stand on it. Like I'ma I'ma make you feel that for sure. Whether it's a good side, like you gonna know, and I you know, but if you're on my bad side, then at the same time you gonna know. But it's like you gonna know who I am. Like I make a statement for myself, like for my name. Like I do definitely dominate. Yeah. My name's Tori, I know. Uh, <laughs> I love taking drugs. I love smoking marijuana. I love fucking popping pills sometimes. Uh, <laughs> but guess what? I smoke these motherfuckers every fucking day. I do. I love them. Wait, wait, I got one more thing. Look at okay, the car. I love it. We can get two. Hey, one way visuals, bitch. Get your oh, motherfucking okay, bands up, two. bitch. Two. Two. Broke two. ass two. whore. Two Broke ass, what the fuck going on? Hey! One, two, three, hey. four. Hey, nigga. Pizzas, you gotta smell it to inhale it. What the fuck are you talking about? Just three. I'm 
fat, yo. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, BTD. Jay Chopper, I really fuck with him. Like, he really hard as fuck. Like, he, he just be talking his shit. Like, he, he really hard. Like, he really... Like, you can, like, just how he just, like, put emphasis on all his shit. Like, like and then I just, like... I just like the energy that he bring in, like, in his song. Like, he just, like, he having fun with the shit. That's what I, that's what I really like. Like, you just having fun, but you can still tell. You perfecting your... BTD, Jay Chopper. Shit, I'm born in Youngstown. Grew up in Akron. Been rapping for, like... Been rapping serious for like a year. It's actually a year today that I've been rapping since my first song. Went on all like platforms and shit, yeah. So yeah, but I've been rapping, like you feel me, just doing this shit for like a few years, like three years. But I just got serious with that shit like a year ago. What, uh, what or who inspired you to rap? I didn't really start going hard at this shit till I, uh, Till I lost my nigga Gabe and shit. Rip G, you feel me? I ain't really start going hard at it, you feel me? Until he, till he died and shit. Then I started rapping, you feel me? Putting him in there and shit. Making songs and shit just for us to listen to. And then niggas start telling me to take this shit serious. So then, feel me? I just took it serious after that. And that's when I started rapping. Shit. Uh, Devontae had reached out to me or whatever. And told us about it and shit. And I was like, fuck it. So niggas came through. Hell no, I don't even, I, I really don't even write music no more. Like, I get the beat and then I just, you feel me, do that shit when I get to the studio. I think about how the song gonna sound a little bit, then I get to the studio and then I just, you feel me, freestyle the shit. Like, I never could find myself writing a song no more. Like, back before I had a car and shit, you feel me, back like when I was younger and shit and I was on the bus and shit, I used to be on the bus so I could write that shit. You feel me, on the bus just write and listening to music on my way to work and shit. What you feel me? I didn't went so far with this shit that like, I don't even write my music no more. I don't even write. I just freestyle that shit when I get to the studio. So it ain't really no creative process. Plus like, I don't even, um, I don't really freestyle. Like I write, like write a bar, rap that shit, have them replay it to me a few times. Be like, oh yeah, I can say this. And then write another bar, put that in there. You feel me? So it's not even freestyling. It's really just a, a put together ass song that I came with like this. You feel me? Shit, I don't know. I feel like a lot of niggas uh played their part in it. Nunu had a hard ass part. Shit, Stacker had a hard ass part. Cap had a hard ass part. They all, you feel me? Everybody was hard. I ain't gonna say I was the hardest, but you know, something like that. I don't know, shit. I don't know. I don't really got one. I just be, you feel me? I just be rapping shit, that shit is kinda hard. I don't be knowing, I don't be having no favorite parts all like that, for real. Can't nobody in the city, can't nobody in the city, can't nobody around me, can't nobody near me, nobody can't fuck with me. They can't fuck with me, and they can't rap like me. And you feel me, like, when I get on the beat, I'm really on that bitch. Other niggas get on the beat, they just talk. And it's always gonna be a difference in between me and everybody else. It's a big ass gap. It is my job to make sure everybody else can see that.